Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of Shingeki no Kyojin, or you could call it Attack on Titan, which is on chapter 87. Now, this chapter right here reveals more of Grisha's backstory of what he was back then before coming into the world that you call, like, um, roaming, rampaging, eat, human eating titans, you know? And it starts off from, um, of course, like, um, it gets off from last week, um, last, last chapter, you know, where Zeke, like, um, snitched on them, on his father and mother. But apparently what makes it ugly is, like, um, Grisha realizes something that things kind of gotten out of hand and he is something that he has to pay up for. So if anything else, let's just go. This translation is not really official, so it's just, like, um, possibly someone, like, pitching in to help out. So if anything else, like, uh, let's just get this started. We had to it that, like, um, Grisha was teaching his son along with his mother about, like, um, the Elodians, you know, and how much, like, um, how much we have to win. And they were trying to educate Zeke overall, but apparently after what happened and something about, like, learning his lesson, of course, we had to it that, um... That Grisha realizes, did I even care about Zeke himself? No matter what I just did, it's like, um, I just put my own flesh and blood in danger. And, of course, we have to it that, um, he, after, after he received security and his grandparents after being snitched out or something, yada, yada, yada. We also go to a scene where, like, um, that Grisha was being interrogated and tortured greatly and his fingers cut off, dude. Like, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine... The pain of losing your fingers and the mental trauma and damage done to you. He does not even know who the owl is and so forth. They try to interrogate him like who is the owl but apparently he does not know which makes it worse upon him and he ends up taking much more physical and mental damage. We also have to it that they don't know who the owl's identity is. They try to find out who this owl is like a... Because they plan to send spies, go and monitor his warriors, and try to like um, lead up to find the prognator of this titan power that's so important to them, you know? And if it wasn't for the sun, nothing, this wouldn't really happen. And right now, they're gonna get the punishment, you know? As said, as it was said in a long time ago, like in, in the last chapter, it's where like um, they all about to roam out to a certain island where... They become titans, rampaging titans, you know. And of course, they end up showing them like what their life sentences are. You'll be turned into mindless titans, which I don't know why they will turn them into mindless titans anyway. Which is something that my friend asked me, which I also question as well. And this is where possibly where the story almost began. And th therefore, like um, he asked them, they at the guy was still trying to interrogate him about like um, what's happening, you know. But we also have to it that one of the guys who like got Grisha into his army or his devotion, he was pretty much upset and curses him and insults him very greatly, saying that your son betrayed us and so forth. What the hell did you just do? You are just all talk in the end. You never cared for anyone but yourself. All you in this in this day, you know. And we have two, and we have two at the. And we also have to it that Grisha apologizes that I'm sorry that you had to be fooled by this guy. And therefore the guy who who manages who recruited Grisha, etc., says that Eldia is finished or something or whatever this is. And apparently we have to it that this guy is forced to run right now and Titans can't get near the ocean and because they're on a 30 meter wall whatsoever. We have to it that these guys who are punished for what they've done is to turn to mindless titans. And these are the titans apparently are the Elodian um, revolutionaries, you know? And it is pretty much mostly the truth right now because the way how, we look, how we're looking at it for the time being. As we see to it, of course, like um, it'll be nothing more than like... Um, torture for them. They'll be mindless, smelling humans, eating humans, that's it. And that's how the titans were made. And we have to it that there's one guy who wants to like interrogate want, interrogate um, Grisha, you know. But apparently there's also to it that we also find Grisha's um, sister's 
killer, that mother f who fed Grisha's sister to the dogs. And apparently we also have to it that um, is the woman of the devil's blood or something. And that is Dina. And apparently we do get to get confirmation in this chapter that she is the smiling titan. But Grisha tries to tell him that she's royal blood. You gotta leave her alone and so forth. And and pretty much like um, there's nothing more than torture to her as he ends up seeing Dina being turned into a titan and transformed into the smiling titan that we all know and she, of course she was killed in the series you know and Eren does wake up from an agony or nightmare with uh, Mikasa on the other side of the cell and of course Eren's in the cell with me Eren and Mikasa Mikasa are in like um serving are serving time in the cells because of violating military policy so it looks like they are not gonna get off that easily after like getting into a fight with Levi or trying to make him like um save Armin etc you know that kind of stooped up crack a lack and we also have to it that Eren explains to Mikasa and er Eren explains to Armin and Mikasa that the person we just killed or something that smiling titan was her it was Dina you know so all the books that Eren read is nothing more than truth and how like these memories of his fathers is linked Link to link to Aaron or something, Shonen kind of thing. Anyways, um, besides me saying those stupid stuff, we have to it that Grisha is nothing more than like um have no choice but to watch in agony and curses the guy who fed his sister to the dogs and so forth, you know. And there was like one last person left to be turned to a titan, and the guy who um who fed the who fed Grisha's sister to the dogs, he confirms that yes, I am the one who like um fed your sister to the dogs and seeing how you and the other guy are going to fight against each other it's going to be very interesting he also reveals like um how these aliens and you guys are nothing more than like um devils of society and want to turn the society to normal and you know he we also have to it that like um he did that to like um he fed grisha's sister to the dogs to educate his sons which is really really ugly how to educate your own children that way and because of that, his sons excelled in life. And I'm like, what the hell? He even asked, Grisha even asked him, do you even know what the hell you're saying? Does your heart not ache of seeing what you just did or something? And so forth. And therefore, like, um, he even he even asked him this question. What if your son suffered the same fate as my heart would tighten up, huh? He even tells the guy, like, um, if she wasn't Eldian, this wouldn't happen. Let me tell you something, huh? Look at this guy carefully. That's your true form, etc. He also even explains to Grisha, like, once you turn into a titan, once you turn into a titan spinal fluid, you become giant monsters. He also reveals that you guys are descendants of Ymir of the Illidian Empire, you know? And because of you guys, we've been nothing more than, like, um, causing much pain and ruckus around human history for centuries, as he explains. Well, this is like, um, Grisha's sister's killer who fed Grisha's sister to the dogs. He even says that they want to erase Elidians from this world for the wish for humanity. As you know, he doesn't like the fact that seeing how you will be infectious to everyone. And he even says, you say my heart would ache? How can it hurt? Don't look at me like I'm some kind of murderer. He even tells him off that aren't you guys the murderers? The one who restorationist who tries to oppose us Marley? Weren't you the one trying to plan to walk the old path of Eldians? Wouldn't your heart ache? He even tells him like how much the history of you guys of of the Eldians to Grisha, like you guys are the ones that have been causing all this ruckus in, in the way how he's saying it, you know? Sorry for not giving much detail here. He Grisha on the other hand tries to fight back, talk back by saying, I know the truth about Ancestor Yumiya. She uses the Titan powers to actually to actually have humanity prosper and live and prosper. But apparently he he tells him up by saying that you Marley twisted history is all f***ed up, you know? But we also have to it that he says, oh, you have your hi glorious history, huh? How about you chat about with your brother down there, huh? And by that time, like, um, just before he was about to, like, um, see Grisha and the other Titan, seeing the Titan eat Grisha maybe out of entertainment, and he did not mention entertainment to see Grisha and this other guy, the last person to turn to a Titan fight or possibly cannibalize each other is really messed up and one guy ends up pushing the other the guard off the wall 
and he ends up being eaten by the Titan, the the person who killed Grisha's sister by feeding Grisha's sister to the dogs. He ends up being killed, which I I could give two freaking crook crooked up stuff about him because he deserved it, and I don't care much about him. But this guy ends up revealing himself to Grisha that he is the owl, and we also have to it that he decides to show Grisha how to use a titan's power. And he ends up transforming into a titan himself and destroys the boat and so forth. I'm like, wow, dude. So this guy was the owl heightened behind like Marley's forces and he didn't do anything to help out um, the Elodians or something. I don't know. But one thing for sure, like um, this chapter reveals a lot in, in the end, you know? So... All I can say is right now, in simple words, if you're still lost or something, or not given a lot of detail, is that Grisha back then tries to educate his son Zeke, but realizes that he he did not really care for Zeke at all, and only used, only wanted him as a helper and successor. Grisha does get tortured in the end, and as for the punishment, as always, as they said in the last chapter of Attack on Titan, or Shingeki no Kyojin, if you want to say it, is that, um... All these people who were the Elodians or trying to revive Elodia, whatever you want to call it, um, try, they get turned into titans. And we get to find out who was the smiling titan in the end. And that was Dina, Grisha's first lover or wife, what, however you want to call it. And, of course, confirmation to see that Eren finally realizes that the smiling titan was killed at the hands of Eren himself, and that was um, Dina Jaeger or something, or whatever you want to call her. And in the end, we have to it that the guy who killed Grisha's sister, fed it to the dogs, makes confirmation about history and so forth, and how much humanity wants to get rid of the Elodians, and we get to and we get revelations on who is actually the owl in the end. You know, who who is actually the owl, and. By that time that was revealed, he tr he shows Grisha how to use the power of the Titans once you get it, you know, that kind of thing. So overall, this chapter right here, like I said in simple bullet points, um, Grisha um, and the others are just turned to Titans, but Grisha, except, except for Grisha himself, and he was about to be killed by a Titan who was the last one to be turned into one, the last person that is, and the owl just shows up and so forth. Right now, what I just said in those bullet points is just like of what of what of what the chapter was really about. What I gave you like throughout that video from beginning to where it ended is just a little bit more detailed in a complicated, confused matter. So overall, we get to know that um, Dina Yeager was the smiling titan in the end, and just by and and when, even though when I just looked at a couple chapters or raw chapters or so, that's just pretty dang torturous. <laughs> That's the fact. So, more of Grisha's backstory. I think, I'm pretty sure we're going to continue Grisha's backstory in maybe a couple more months, possibly, depending where it could end off. So, if anything else, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm off of Zero. Have a good day, and I'll be sure you see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Two to do.